to learn how to throw things today. Woo, woo, hoo. All right, so we're going to throw a projectile today. So I am going to walk you through how to throw a projectile. So we're going to start off by opening a new project and we're going to name it, guess what? Throw projectile. All right, we are ready, ready. And looking at our directions, what I want you to know about it is it's really fun when we can make our sprites throw things or, you know, shoot down asteroids. Uh, so we need to learn how to do that today. So the first thing we have to do, though, is we have to create a sprite that is going to be the one that is throwing the projectile. So I'm going to go grab a sprite with the set my sprite to. I'm in step one right now. I'm gonna put it in the on start and I'm just gonna grab uh, something from the gallery. I'm gonna grab the skull because I'm gonna follow this like it said. However, I'm gonna change the name because I do not like using just the generic my sprite. I think that that's not good if you wanna add on to your program. All right, so step one, we are done. Step two, find projectile from my sprite in the sprites, okay? Da, da, projectile, here it is. Set projectile from my sprite, that's the one I want. And I am going to drag it into the on start. All right, perfect. That's the end of number two. So now this means that whatever I put or whatever I create as the projectile, it's going to shoot out from the skull because, well, I have to change this to say my skull or skull. There we go. That part's fixed. All right. Step three, open the image editor for projectile and draw an image of a bone. All right. I don't know how good I'm going to be at that, but we'll give it a go. Right now it's kind of looking like a key. Oh man. How about I just take something from the gallery? It's gonna throw a plate. <laughs> Let's try that. I think that's gonna to be too big though. I need to throw something tiny. No, I'm not gonna make it throw the little tiny soldier. That's just wrong. Can't even believe you guys thought that. I'll have him throw a football. There we go. He's going to throw a football. Uh, and I'm also going to change the name of the projectile to uh, football. Okay. You might be better at drawing a bone than I am, but I'm not. All right. So step three is done. I can see the, uh, it is already throwing stuff without me even telling it. It's just doing its own thing because it has its own velocity going on here. Let's make that a little larger for you all make that a little smaller there we go all right let's look at step four in projectile okay change the v y well this doesn't say 100 it says 50 but all right i'm going to change it to negative 15. negative 15. that's going to make it shoot upwards okay so here we go it's making it shoot diagonally still If I want it to shoot just upwards, I'm going to make that VX zero. And then it should shoot, yep, completely upwards. There we go. All right. Uh, and I want to actually, let's see if I can make it go negative 25. Let's see, does that make it shoot faster? A little bit, yeah, okay, cool. All right, so now I want to actually decide when I want it to shoot. So I'm going to go into controller and I'm going to grab an on a button pressed. And then I'm going to grab this set football and drag it in here. So now when I do this, I have to press the A button. So every time I press that, he will 
uh, throw the football in this case. I probably should have put the football player in here. That would have been better. But that's how you make a projectile come out of a sprite. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Uh, if you are finished with this, make sure that you save it, share it, add the link to your portfolio, and turn it into assignment 4-3. If you're like, oh, that was, you know, way too simple, Ms. B, here's some extra things you can try with it, okay? Make the sprite move also. Create another sprite. Do an overlap so that it's the uh, other sprite can catch your projectile. Or, you know, create some fun effects when you throw it. Have some fun with this. Make it interesting. But make sure you've got these very basic things so that I know you know how to make a sprite throw projectiles. Good luck.